Hey, what's up? I'm um, Kevin. This is Justin. We're in free throw, and we're gonna be checking out our van today, our beautiful Ford Stevesies. We're out on a headlining tour right now, supporting our new record, What's Passes Prologue. We're out with Chris Farron and Youth Fountain and Max Seal, and today we're in Chicago, Illinois, Planet Subterranean. Well, I guess the first and foremost most important part of the van is the dashboard. We've got the uh, Captain America, keeps us safe. We've got BB-8 here, you know, it's our good sidekick. Oh yeah, perhaps the most important one is our Jurassic Park VHS. We got this at a venue four years ago, and uh, no one owns a VHS player in the band, but we like to know that it's there if we need it. It's pretty good. And uh, some spoons for our peanut butter eating. Neosporin for when we cut our hands open. Justin usually because he's working on the van. Yeah. Me from drumming. Corey from falling down, you know, <laughs> anything. It's all a possibility. Some Advil, usually for hangovers. Unfortunately for hangovers, we're getting old. And then Larry likes to practice self-care, so he's got some beautiful face wipes here. And then Justin's in the driver's seat. Justin takes care of the van. Uh, keep it running. He does. Save, saves us a lot of money. Yeah. This man can do an oil change, put a new wheel bearing on it a couple weeks ago for us. Pretty yeah. sick. It, uh, yeah, it definitely helps to know how to work, uh, work on a vehicle whenever it comes to it does. for it or doing it yourself. But we all do drive. We have to kind of take take shifts. Yeah. A we lot of driving. Three hour shifts. It yeah, works. You know. We like it. We don't mind. Usually we always have two people up front. Mm -hmm. The rest will usually sleep and then we'll rotate in and out. So usually it's two people up and then the rest will lay down. Yeah. Justin, Justin and Larry are big on the podcast. I'm kind of along for the ride on this one. Right now I'm listening to Dirty John. Uh, it's a really good one. It's like a true crime podcast. Uh, I also listen to a lot of TED Talks. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm trying to get some education in while I'm driving so it's not a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. So front bench, very important bench. Because the front bench, we have the power strip on the floor down here. And so you pretty much constantly are having people passing forward devices that need to be charged. So you would have a lot of responsibility here. You get like phones, Nintendo Switches, laptops, uh, jewels. You don't get a lot of sleep here because you're constantly being poked. And then 30 minutes after someone's poking, you're like, can I get my phone back and, and all the that. The upside though is that all your stuff stays charged. Yeah, you're always charging up here, which is cool. And you can kind of participate in the DJing or whatever. So um, very important, the breeze bottle. <laughs> it smells really bad in here a lot. We sweat a lot, we don't always get the shower. This is a saving grace. And we have it with gain, so it's good for the fabric. Yeah. Bench number two, prime real estate. Larry, tell us about bench number two. This is where you can sleep the most without having anyone bug you. Um, I usually lay here and play Pokemon Go or play on my Switch. Um, yes. Uh, this one doesn't have the broken vent. We have a hummus topping yeah. over there. Tin foil. It's the least bumpy bench though. Like when you get, you start moving back, you get over the wheel well and stuff, it, yeah. you, you get bumped pretty the bad. The back bench is definitely the worst. But it's the longest bench. It is the longest bench out of them all. I don't know, I'd, I'd take a short bench over. I would take a short bench. Oh, we also have down here, this is really important. This is some uh, pre-workout because we like to think that we stay in shape on tour. I think we've collectively worked out six times in the last three weeks? Yeah. Which so is great. Good. We're doing really not good. Great. Doing really <laughs> good. All right. Uh, bench number three back there. We got we got a, we got a, a serial sleeper going on back there. Just chilling, hanging out. <laughs> so we're getting to the bumpier region of the van. So, you know, good good AC. It is another bench. It is another, ben. it's another bench. He has he has his routine. It's good. I'm, I'm the... I'm gonna do an activity on this drive, and then I stare at my phone for six and a half hours. And then I realize I just murdered a bunch of brain cells and I learned nothing. So the back bench is normally where we try to put stuff that we wanna keep out of our way. But here lately I uh, kept all my tools in here. I have my grease from where I did the wheel bearing job. Funny story, I had to buy a mini sledgehammer to do that. Did not know that I needed that, but now I do have that. Uh, and we got some, uh, we got some nice sneakers back here. They are not looking in such good shape. Yeah, and so uh, pretty much just some extra towels and tools, spare parts and symbols. The upside of the back bench is you kind of, you, if you need some alone time, 
just don't want to talk to anybody. Good, good place to go. You're really far away. You don't hear any of the music back there. No, so no one can hear you. It's definitely got a, a nice like seclusion to it. Yeah. It's not my favorite spot. This lock, funny enough, this lock sucks. It's terrible. There we go. Apparently, it's not the most exciting right now with all of our gears in the venue at the moment. But well, we use it as a like a sometimes when there's no green room, we use this as our green room. Our bags, <laughs> all of our backup merch on the front wall where that usually lives. We've used it before. Uh, we actually set up like a little pop-up bar in here on one tour. Last year on the, on the Knuckle Puck tour. Yeah. We had a really small green room, so we ended up with 12 people and two cases of beer, and we were running a dice game out of our trailer at a venue, <laughs> which uh, I guess is not the most legal thing we've ever done. It was fun. We like to play a lot of dice, a little CeeLo on tour. It's a good time. Yeah. Take, take each other's money. Usually they don't win anything. I usually just lose all my money to CeeLo. <laughs> Justin's a boomer bus guy when it comes to dice. He will lose a bunch of games in a row and then borrow money from people to get back in. And then whenever he does that, he wins like $300. Pays everyone back and then he's just living large. Uh, well, thanks for checking out our van with us. Uh, we're still out here for three more weeks. Got the whole East Coast left. And uh, we're playing a bunch of songs off our new record, What's Past This Prologue, just came out on Triple Crown. And then we have a... Another tour after this, we're going out with Newfound Glory and Hawthorne Heights and Jetty, Jetty Bones. Bones. Yeah. So we're pretty much on tour for the rest of our lives. <laughs>